All right, fellas, so you're working on something a little custom and you want to install a flex fuel sensor. So, okay, well, maybe not this custom. Let's say you're doing an LS swap, right? And you're running the P59 like I am. So you're going to want to come over here to your uh, blue connector, right? And you're going to want to grab pin 56. Now, it's not listed on here, but pin 56 is your flex fuel. Not all these had flex fuel. That's going to be your, sent your signal. So you're going to stab in a wire in that pin right there. Now, the way I usually do it is uh, if you don't have the pins to make your own wire, Grab, uh, grab one of your O2 sensor wires that you pruned out of the harness, like your back O2. Them are very long leads, you stab one of them in there. Next, you're gonna need your ground. Now, I haven't confirmed this works yet, but pin 60 is your throttle position sensor low reference, so that's signal ground. Pin 60 should provide ground to your new flex fuel sensor, and you're not using this pin because most P59s are drive-by wire, so they do not have that throttle position sensor. So go ahead and stab another pin in there. And then all you need is 12 volts after that, which you can just grab, you know, off your fuse block. And then there you go, you wire in your sensor, you do it in the tune and boom, you have flex fuel. Follow me for more tips, fellas. And if you wanna know more about this monstrosity, you know, think about subscribing maybe. And you'll learn more about my four cylinder running on an LS harness and computer.